Uh, I'm going to go to case two. Just for reference, we're going to do five cases tonight. Uh, this case two is a 48-year-old female who presents with one year of radiating calf pain and uh, three months of foot drop. On exam, she has dorsiflexion and uh, extensor halsus longus weakness. Her inversion is preserved and her eversion is weak. And that's really a critical kind of factor when thinking about what is the source of the weakness. And she, this patient also has diminished sensation over the dorsum of her foot. On the MRI, you can see that there is no compression. Now, given the fact that this was uh, uh, weakness of eversion and not of inversion, one may even not need to get an MRI of the lumbar spine to evaluate for uh, a disc herniation that may also cause a foot drop because the uh, the uh, eversion weakness goes more with a perineal uh, neuropathy. And in this case, the patient also got an EMG nerve conduction study that showed no lumbosacral radiculopathy, but rather a mononeuropathy of the left deep perineal nerve. And so in perineal nerve compression, the alternatives to an intervention or pain management, physical therapy, uh, seeing if things improve, if there are, if there is persistent or worsening weakness, if the symptoms are refractory to conservative management, one can consider surgery. And for perineal nerve uh, decompression, you pay, you put the patient in what's called a sloppy lateral, where you're not fully on on the side, but more uh, we pay we end up putting the patient in a supine position, but with a large bump under them to kind of rotate them partially just enough so that you could have kind of ease of access to the lateral knee, like shown here. And what you could see here with the rounded part of the incision, we've uh, circled the fibular head and then the incision is right under the fibular head. And then uh, in the right image, what you see is the uh, anatomy that one sees after the uh, uh, dissection is performed, the common perineal nerve on the right, looped in yellow. And then you see the branches, including the articular branch the articular branch, uh, the deep perineal nerve, and the superficial perineal nerve. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.